And I want to begin by talking about goals as a relationship, understanding goals as a relationship, that there is give and take, that sometimes things that are unexpected, unpredicted um, arise. There are challenges and obstacles that may happen. Now for many people, right now is the time that they're starting to lose connection, lose their grip, lose connection with their goals for the year. Um, they started with these beautiful resolutions or goals, and now they're beginning to lose connection. Why? Because something unexpected has come up, something they didn't anticipate has happened, and they're starting to lose that connection. So what's so important in goal achievement is maintaining the connection to your goals through thick and thin, through the ups and downs, through the easy times and the um, not so easy times. <laughs> and this is really what is called grit. And so you need grit. You need to be able to have that stick to itiveness to be able to achieve goals. This is one of the key qualities of people who achieve their goals, who are successful in achieving goals. They have this grit, this stick to itiveness. So we need to be able to learn how to notice the warning signs when obstacles are arising and be able to design around them, be able to iterate um, our plans so that we can address them. Now, one of the things that uh, goals do for us is they sometimes show us things about ourselves that we're not super excited about. So for example, it may be that your goal is, is bringing forward to your attention an unproductive tendency or habit that you have. So for example, procrastination. So you're working on this goal and this procrastination habit is coming up. And what happens is often when those types of um, uh, those types of obstacles related to our own performance come up, we start to lose connection. We don't want to really see that, so we start to lose connection to our goal. Or let's say um, you hadn't anticipated that your goal would require, in order to achieve your goal, you may have to say no to some other things that you're not so sure you want to say no to. So there's this ambivalence. And so slowly over time, you start losing connection to this goal. Or let's say you're realizing that your goal may, cause, may, may require you to go further outside your comfort zone than you are comfortable with. <laughs> and so this subtle, the subtle effect can be that you start losing connection with that goal and it just starts to go away. So we wanna prevent that. We want to put in place the method, the mechanism, the technique for staying connected to our goals so that we achieve them. And the way we're going to be looking at this